Hi, it's Mary, a traditional Chinese medicine cure and an acupuncturist in Canada. This video mainly discusses deficient and excessive pulses. Weak pulse, forceless pulse, and forceful pulse are also compared. The deficient pulse and excessive pulse are mainly differentiated by the pulse strength. The pulse strength is how the pulse react, respond to the finger eye. By this one, you see deficient and excess type of the pulse. Deficient pulse. The deficient pulse is marked by forceless beating when lifting, searching, and pressing at all chun guan chi portions. All the chun guan chi, the three portions, no matter whether you are lifting with light pressure, pressing with heavy pressure, or searching the most the strong pulsation location with medium pressure, you need to feel forceless. Besides, there is a feeling of softness under the fingers, as though you are touching a plastic bag partially filled with water, and the feeling force in the pulse is insufficient due to insufficient blood running inside the blood vessel. This kind of pulse is called deficient pulse. Sometimes we might feel one is deficient, another portion is forceful. That's possible. Only when all the chun guan chi portions are forceless, we call it a different uh, portion associated with different organ. On your left hand, there's heart, liver, and the kidney. On your right hand, there's a lung, spleen, and the kidney. All three portions all feel deficient. Is marked by forceless beating whenever you apply the pressure, lifting, searching, or pressing by different pressure at all the chun, guan chi, they are weak. Thus, it shows that all the zhang fu organs are in hypo function. However, deficiency has a qi deficiency, blood deficiency, yang deficiency, and the yin deficiency. Qi compared to blood is yang, blood compared to qi is the yin. The major character associated with qi deficiency is weak. As the deficient qi is weak in moving the blood, when you palpate it, the pulse is very feeble, forceless. Blood compared to qi refers to blood volume. The major character associated with blood deficiency is pale. When you say blood deficiency, it is the blood cannot feel the blood vessel, so the pulse is steady and forceless. Yang deficiency is characterized by the deficiency code, so the pulse is slow and forceless. And the yin deficiency is characterized by the deficiency heat. Therefore, the pulse is rapid and forceless. A deficient pulse indicates all types of deficiency syndrome, but mainly indicates qi and blood deficiency, which is why the deficient pulse is usually forceless and shreddy. Excessive pulse. Excess pulse is the opposite of the deficiency pulse. It's characterized by strong beating at all the chun, guan, chi portions. And also, when you use light pressure, medium pressure, or heavy pressure, you all feel forceful. And you can feel the blood vessel wide and large under your fingers due to sufficient blood filling the vessel. That pulse is called the excess pulse. You cannot say a pulse is excess and forceless. Excess and forceless are two contradictory features and cannot exist simultaneously. For excess type, you don't see any forceless response. All responses are forceful. Excess pulse suggests excess syndrome. The pathogenic factors are exuberant. The healthy qi is not deficient. So the confrontation between the healthy qi and the pathogen are intensive. The excess pathogens may be cold or heat, or flame, dampness, and stagnant blood. In the case of excess syndrome, all of them can lead to the congestion of qi and blood. Therefore, 
When taking the pulse, one will feel that the vessel is full of blood and the pulsation is forceful. The excess and harmonious pulse can be seen in healthy people. If all the pulse of six portions are excess and big without any manifestations of disease, it's called the six young pulse, a sign of vigorous qi and blood. Comparison of deficient and excessive pulse. Deficiency pulse and excess pulse. They are opposite in the pulse strength. Excess pulse very powerful, respond to the finger eye, but the deficient type is not. The deficient pulse feels forceless on light, moderate, and heavy pressure. And it is the general term for forceless pulse, indicating the deficiency syndrome. And the excess pulse feels forceful on light, moderate, and heavy pressures indicating excess syndrome. Hi, Mary. What is the difference between a deficient pulse and a forceless pulse or weak pulse? And is the excessive pulse the same as a forceful pulse? In pulse examination, the terms forceful and forceless are frequently used to describe the pulse strength under the finger eye. After we have located the Tun Guan Chi, we usually apply different pressures to detect the position where the pulse beating strength is most obvious. The most obvious beating strength is detected when using light, deep, and medium pressure. The most obvious beating position can be superficial, deep, or between the skin and the bone. Now, notice that the most obvious beating does not mean that the pulse beating is forceful, as the most obvious beating strength is a relative result when making a comparison among the pulse beating feeling under light, deep, and medium pressure, thus several situations may occur. The first meaning of the most obvious pulse beating to the finger is forceful. We sometimes express it as the pulse response to the finger is forceful, powerful, or strong. Wordings are different, but the meaning is the same. The second meaning of the most obvious pulse beating to the finger is forceless. The pulse response to the finger is not strong, not powerful, insufficient, or even weak. If the forceless pulse strength declines to an extreme, usually combined with a thin, shreddy pulse width, words like feeble, faint, or imperceptible may be used. Those different words are used to describe the different extents of forceless. The third meaning of the most obvious pulse beating to the finger is moderate, not too forceful, and not too forceless either, which is a balanced state. Of course, forceful and forceless are comparatively speaking when compared to a healthy person's pulse strength. For a healthy person, the Chun pulse under medium pressure is forceful, and the Chi pulse under heavy pressure is forceful. If the pulse is also even, not too fast or slow, pulsating in a harmonious state, this pulse can be called having stomach qi, sen, and the lute. An excessive pulse, or shi mai in Chinese, differs from a forceful pulse. Excessive pulse being one of the 29 pulses, and made by the combination of all the chun, guan, chi, and the different finger pressures are all forceful, can indicate an excess syndrome. But as discussed above, a forceful pulse only describes a type of pulse strength responding to the finger eye. A deficient pulse, or xu mai in Chinese, differs from a forceless pulse. A deficient pulse being one of the 29 pulses and made by the combination that all the chun, guan, chi, and the different finger pressures are all forceless can indicate a deficient syndrome. Weak pulse 
is another term that easily causes confusion. Sometimes we casually use the word "weak" to substitute the word "forceless" to describe that a pulse strength is not strong. We should bear in mind that there is a pulse officially called weak pulse or ruo mai in Chinese. It's one of the twenty-nine pulses made by the combination features of forceless, shreddy, soft, and deep. Indicating qi and blood deficiency or yang deficiency. In conclusion, we need to pay attention to the context when using the pulse terms or different translations from Chinese to English. If you like today's video, please give me a like, subscribe to it, and share it with others. See you in my next video. All the best.